Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Sean Keenan and today this is going to be my last episode of 2022, my first season as a YouTuber. Uh, what a great experience it's been this year, really. I, I, I've learned so much. I've gone to places and done things that I never would have done before if I didn't have the excuse of photography to take me there. Um, and I don't think I could have done it uh, as happily if it wasn't for the support of my family, my friends, and you guys, the subscribers. I want to say thank you to you for joining me on this journey and uh, sharing your ideas and feedback uh, through comments. And uh, a great big thank you to my family for their support and giving me the time and space to do this. And I don't think I could have done it at all without the support of one person in particular, uh, and that's Alejandro Rosa. If it wasn't for Alejandro, I never would have started this uh, channel in the first place. Now, for years, he's been telling me, Sean, you should start a YouTube channel. And I always uh, politely turned him down. Uh, it just wasn't my thing. And uh, I, something clicked last year, and that was it. I, I started this channel and he has been such a huge uh, creative and, and friendly support uh, in helping to develop uh, this idea and this experiment. And it's all an experiment, folks. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to him. I'm actually going to be joining him on his podcast and I'll link everything down in the description below. He and I, uh, talked together for uh, a review of a Japanese film called Daremo Shiranai. And uh, if you've not seen it, please go check it out. Uh, if you're interested in checking out his podcast and our conversation, check the description below. Yeah, without further ado, the last episode of 2022. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if this is your first time. It's two days before Christmas, uh, December 23rd. Here I am uh, in a city park, Nishioka Koen. Now, this little reservoir, I guess, lake behind me here, this used to be the water reserves, the water reservoir for Sapporo uh, back in the day. And I have on the far side of the lake here, reservoir, lake, I have on the far side of the reservoir here a little structure. I I'm not even sure what to call it. But I think this was a, a lookout point for the attendants of the reservoir. Now, Hokkaido is known for its powder snow. And today is not that. It's a thick, heavy, wet snow. It's hovering just above uh, the freezing mark this morning. But what that does is it just clings to the trees and creates this beautiful atmosphere. So the settings are, uh, I have a set for one second. Uh, there is a bit of snow that's falling here. I think with that one second uh, shutter speed that I'll be able to um, reduce most of that. I don't want to capture individual snowflakes falling. Let's take a shot, shall we? Uh, I, I have no idea if this is going to work. It's my first time actually doing it. Uh, I'm taking a panoramic shot. Now, this panoramic shot might be anticlimactical, I suppose. It is nothing. There's nothing here. I <laughs> completely blown out. Yeah, nothing. It's a whiteout. No, let, let's fix this ISO here. Uh, there we go. So 
this is the scene in front of me here. And as you can see, there's really just a, a, a tree line on either side that lead to nothing. And I think it's fantastic. It looks, uh, it looks like a painting. And uh, I'm hoping that with five images stitched together in post, uh, that this will make a really nice panoramic, minimalistic panoramic shot. Uh, anchoring the image on either side, on the left third and the right third of the image is really important, and especially since there's not much in the middle. So I use this tree, this very large pine tree here with the, the snow just caked on the top of the, the what are they, boughs? On the boughs, boughs of holly, Merry Christmas. Uh, and I, I use that as an anchor point and this little bush right down here, I, I have in the bottom right third of the image. Uh, and as you see, not much out there. There's a, there's a woodpecker above me. Uh, and then over here, uh, I brought it over to this bush right here and tried to get as much as this into the edge without getting the fence in. I didn't want to have any of the man-made structures. Now, far over on the other side, right over there, I believe, there is a little fence over there and uh, another fence over here. Uh, only for people that are looking really close. I often feel varying degrees of anxiety when I'm out on a shoot, but today it felt different. Perhaps it was being on holiday from work. Perhaps it was the ease of shooting at a location so close to home. Or perhaps it was my inner child excited at just seeing the landscape covered with snow again. Whatever the reason, I opened myself to discovering whatever the landscape had to offer. And I felt exhilarated having tried something new, like the pano shot. Snow quiets the world around and lends itself to contemplation. Even something as simple as clearing the pathway leads to little discoveries. So my stills camera on my Canon 80D is not wide enough. It's uh, 18 by 135. So I switched over to my video camera, which is a Kiss M2 here in Japan. It's a M50 Mark II overseas. Well, that's 16 millimeters. It's a Sigma lens. Uh, it's beautiful. I can see in the dark with it. It's wonderful setup for uh, vlogging, but uh, it's still not wide enough. So, you know, my... My iPhone has a 14 millimeter wide lens. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be one to switch over to my iPhone for photography because of lens issues. However, I do use it quite a bit for video and this is actually shot right now on my iPhone. Uh, this is my video camera. So there we go. I mean, this is a beautiful scene here. It's a, it's a open clearing here uh, in the marshlands as you see everything is just blanketed in snow. I love the texture down here 
Uh, I'm, I'm still kind of looking around trying to find a nice composition. Uh, but I did like this lone tree, this tree right here. Uh, let me flip it around for you. The way that I positioned it was, you see those pine trees in the background? I positioned it just like that. Now I tried to lean back over the fence behind me here and get a little bit more distance between me and the tree. I don't think it's going to add much, but I, because I couldn't add this walkway into the shot, I think I have it somewhat like that with a little bit of it on the left edge. that has fallen down in the path here and the way that it is fallen there's uh, an intersecting maze of, of branches and uh, small twigs that I really like the pattern that it makes with the snow in the background now I'm on a slope so luckily everything behind this branch is going to be completely whited out which will give me a really interesting minimalistic winter photograph hopefully oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting pelted with snowballs here oh I'm in the danger zone that 30th of a second f5.6 and ISO 100 now I'm, oh, let's see, yeah, uh, I'm overexposing by about one stop, and I love it, I love it, all right, here we go. So as usually the case on my way out, I find something to shoot again. In this case, it's that observation deck uh, that we started with this morning. From this vantage point, I really like the way that in descending size order, these pine trees lead straight down to that observation deck. And so I set it up with uh, that observation deck in the extreme uh, bottom right third of the frame so I can really show the size and the beauty of these pine trees uh, and how quaint and lovely that little observation room is. 60th of a second, F11, ISO 100. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and see you all in 2023. Happy New Year.